I've just measured the depth of the hole that we drilled here yesterday and it's 24 thousandths of an inch deep which is almost exactly a quarter of an inch so my guess yesterday was pretty accurate now I'm thinking as long as both of these are the same diameter I may as well ruin the short one and we don't need this anymore and we'll cut this end off because we obviously don't need it oh my that is hard there we go and we'll cut off the tapered end because we don't need that either now the reason I'm holding it like this is so it doesn't go flying up into my eye now we'll just have what we got left here oh that is tight there we go well, I didn't do it too perfect did I one end should be able to go in here like so now I was going to crazy glue that in but I was thinking afterwards what if I break this and I want to take it out um, so I'm going to maybe just crimp it a little on the end and uh, that way if it does break off and I can't grab hold of it I can just turn this bolt down maybe uh, a millimeter to the place where I can you know you know grab onto the end and then I can pull it out and change it at least that's the plan actually the plan is not to break it now clearly we can't leave the ends of these pins looking like that I want them to be blunt like the end of this bolt so that when it comes up to something round like this cotter pin it's uh, not going to slip off of it and go down the side of the hole if you know what I mean so I gotta try and do something with the ends here and uh, oh, look at that they're kinda magnetized okay I'm just gonna sort of eyeball it here now and try and keep it perpendicular to the surface of that stone here and also try and make sure I don't let it dig in anyway here we go now take a look at that well it probably could have been better but it could have been worse like the one on the right wasn't done so I can see where that's probably gonna not slip off of something round now obviously I have to do something about either gluing it in or flattening the end here and this hardened steel might be just a little bit hard to flatten and then I can you know force it in or maybe if I was to give it a slight bend just down near the end give it a slight bend then it might sort of wedge its way in okay let's try that now maybe if I force it in it might want to stay in there well, it's not going to fall out, that's for sure. It's not perfectly straight. But I think it'll be all right. I'll give it a try. I'm not quite ready yet to try it. i got to make the other end. Now, before I take everything out of the jig, let's make sure it's wide enough. Yep, it's going to be just right. Just right.
I don't think I need to screw with this in very far. Okay, I'm just going to double check now, make sure we got the arrows right, yeah. Alright. Now, we should be able to come up against the pin there, like so, very carefully. Now maybe I'll go stick the macro lens on and we'll be able to take a closer look. Now I know I'm pretending to be a real expert here, but the truth be known, this is the first time I've done this. At least on a band exactly like this. Well, here we go. And press. Yeah. I believe it came out. See if I can move this now so that you can see it. Well, we'll refocus and then I'll show it to you. Okay, now all being well, that felt like it was loose enough that I could just pull it out with my fingers. Oh yeah. Did you notice how it's like a little cotter pin backwards? Yeah, anyway, we'll pull it out and it should fall apart here. There we go. All right. Now what I'll do is I'll just remove this link right here the same way and then uh, you know, put the uh, the other two ends back together. I'll have to take this pin out right here. So we'll take that one out just exactly the same way. Now I realize this is sounding a lot like a tutorial on how to fix your watch strap, but it's not. It was about making the pin press, but I do want to mention that if you do this, you put the pins back in the same orientation as what they were. It's just that you press, press them in from the other side. And there we go. I think that's enough. It kind of matches with the other ones that were put in the factory. Doesn't have to go too far, otherwise it's going to stick out on the other side on you. Well, let's try it out and see if it fits better. Get rid of my good old reliable workshop Tynex. Alright, now let's see if this is any better. Yes, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. I suppose I could, could take out one more little short one, but no, I'll try it like this for a while. See how it is. It, it feels pretty good. Leave well enough alone. But I better get it off. I'm still in my workshop. I don't want the Bulova people to be watching and worrying. There, now the Timex people can worry. Now somebody made the comment, why don't I go on eBay and just buy one? Well, I wouldn't have gone on eBay. I would have gone on Amazon. I've got Amazon Prime. I could have had this one for just under 10 bucks, delivered to my door for free, the day after tomorrow. But I would not have had the fun. And that's what this workshop is all about. It's about having fun. Yeah. Thanks for watching.